What a difference a week can make. Last weekend the garden was covered in snow. And now just a week later the snow is gone and the garden is starting to come to life. The six containers of cold weather greens I planted just last weekend have already started to sprout. The pak choy is doing particularly well. Some of the first crops to emerge every spring are the edible perennials. The protection offered by hoop houses and cold frames effectively moves garden beds one to one and a half zones to the south, allowing the perennials to emerge even sooner. French sorrel is already poking through the soil in this hoop house. Cold frames provide even more protection, so this red veined sorrel is even further along. The Egyptian walking onions never died back entirely over the winter, but now they're really starting to take off. I know it might seem strange to be excited about dandelions, but dandelion greens are a staple of our salads. They're always one of the first plants to emerge in the spring, and we're happy to have them. We mulched the sun choke bed with leaves in the fall and covered it with storm windows over the winter. This kept the soil from freezing and enabled us to harvest sun chokes most of the winter. It also kept the soil warm enough for this red wiggler to survive the cold. The red wigglers will help convert these leaves into nutrient rich soil. Cold frames and hoop houses also help cold hardy annuals get an early start. The Martian Claytonia survived the entire winter, but are really taking off now that it's getting warmer. This lettuce also made it through the winter under two layers of protection and is now starting to grow again. The garlic we planted in the fall is coming up all over the garden and is doing especially well in the hoop houses. Self-sowing annuals are also coming up everywhere in our hoop houses and cold frames. There are several radicchio plants and some are starting to form heads. There are also self-sowed greens coming up all over the place. We'll have baby greens to eat in no time at all. It's warm enough now that we've brought the tree collards outside to harden them off. Over the fall and winter, we propagated over 20 plants from the original two plants we had last year. We'll put them inside a hoop house if we have freezing temperatures or heavy snow, and we'll plant them in a raised bed in early May. The garden will continue to change dramatically in the upcoming weeks as the weather warms and we plant more and more crops. Some of the first seeds we sow every spring are sugar snap peas, which can be planted as soon as the soil is workable. Once again, hoop houses allow us to plant sugar snap peas just a little earlier than we otherwise could. Even if we get another heavy snow, these peas will be just fine under the protection of a hoop house. I really look forward to the transitions in our garden as we move into the spring and summer. Though these first signs of life may not seem like much, I know they're signs of good things to come. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time. Crazy animal. Oh my god, he's killing me. Oh, now I get kisses, huh?